After a day of all those problems, a couple says they filled up at that same gas station and faced the same car troubles. Our Rochelle Turner is live for us tonight with this exclusive update. Rochelle? Good afternoon. Anna Ario says it was going to cost her thousands of dollars to get her car back up and running. She made a stop at this gas station right here behind me, and I've been making calls to the company who owns the station and the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, who's still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But we have now learned that the company is going to pay for Anna's repairs, and she says it wouldn't have been possible if she not had made that call to KPRC, who made this all happen. For the past two days, Anna Oreo has been using her brother's car to get around town. If it wouldn't have been for him, I don't know what I would have done. Her 2015 Audi A7 is at the shop waiting for repairs. Oreo says it all started on Tuesday. She and her husband stopped at this Exxon gas station at the corner of FM 529 and Baker Cypress Road to get some gas. They drove to a gym down the street, Just and Ariel says her car started acting and, up. Uh, the whole actual car was shaking. They opened up the hood and tried troubleshooting the problem themselves, but it still didn't work. My brother called a friend of his, mechanic, uh, and he said that it was possibly the gas that uh, we had just pumped in it. On Monday, we first told you about the problem at the same gas station. Many people had no idea what happened. Uh, we noticed something was up. We didn't think much of it. Uh, started the car, moved up like 10 feet in front. Next thing we know, the car just stopped. We spotted these yellow bags on some pumps at the gas station. A spokesman from the corporate office told me the fuel was re-delivered yesterday and they are running a full investigation on what happened with the Department of Licensing and Regulation. Ario uh, says I she is happy she doesn't have to pay for the repairs, but feels like the problem could have been prevented. And it's very upsetting, especially to think about all those people who need their cars to make it to work. I know that it's difficult to see right now, but there are still several bags on some of these pumps at this gas station behind me. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation says they have received several complaints from people. And if you pulled up to this gas station and got some gas in the past few days and felt like your car was something wrong with it, we have more information on our website. It's quick to Houston.com. Reporting in Cyprus, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Rochelle.